Today on Always Hungry, we're making the best Mexican soup in the world, the pozole. Let's go! Now you may ask, what the fuck is a pozole? Basically, it's a soup that's served on most big holidays in Mexico. It's made with uh, pork that we're gonna braise for a very long time. It's gonna be nice and shredded meat, some peppers, some stock, and uh, some how many beans. And then it's always garnished with some uh, sliced cabbage, some, some radishes, some cilantro, some lime juice. And it's just amazing. It's just like a big warm hug to your heart. So let's just make it. First step, we'll take care of our beautiful pork shoulder. It's a four pound shoulder that we have here. And we're just gonna dice it up and then uh, add it to the pot and then some aromatics. Let's do it. What we're gonna do is start with some slices like this. Cut this up. And this, we're not gonna use all the fat because there's a lot. So we're gonna cut around it. Now, we're gonna put our pork cubes in the pot directly like this. And what I like to do is to season the pork right away to have a better idea of how much salt I'm gonna need and how much pepper. So we're just gonna season this a little bit while we prep the rest of the aromatics. Season generously. Perfect, a little mixy mix. Perfect. Time for the aromatics. We're gonna do onion, garlic, some bay leaf, some cumin, some chicken stock. And then we're gonna add some, uh, some peppers in there. Let's start with onion. So we're just looking for some, uh, some slices. It's gonna be cooking for a very long time, so no need to go too thin. Onions in there. Next up, garlic. I think I'm just gonna leave the garlic clove like this, cut it in half, put it in there. To this, we're gonna add also one teaspoon of cumin seeds three bay leaves. We're gonna do one liter of chicken stock. Boom. And some water. Cold water to start. So pretty much one liter of chicken stock, one liter of water. Start this up. Bring it to a simmer. Okay, we have a bit of a simmering situation going on here. As you can see, lots of scum. We're gonna skim that up using this. Take the impurities out of our beautiful soup because we want a nice, clean, Broth, no scum, no scum. Next up, we have ancho chilies, we have chiles de arbol, and uh, guajillo chilies. What we're gonna do is put these in a bowl like this, and we're gonna heat, hydrate those with some boiling water here. Boom. And we'll let that soak for 30 minutes. Even put this on top. Boom, voila. Our soup is on. We're gonna let that simmer for an hour and a half for our peppers. Once they're gonna be soaked for 30 minutes, we're gonna blitz those up in the Vitamix and add this mixture to our soup. So meanwhile, what we can do is start working on the garnishes. Cabbage, all right. You don't need that much, we'll just do, what I'll do is just get some leaves off like this. I'm gonna roll these up like this. Okay, that should be enough for the cabbage. Cabbage can go here. And build our little garnish station. Next up, we have some beautiful little radishes. We're gonna slice these very thin with the mandolin. And then we're just gonna use our good old friend, the mandolin. Careful with your fingers. It's good, perfect. Okay, cool. So slice these up. and get our radishes right in there. You can even add some ice cubes to it, but there's multiple ice cubes here. Voila. And now we can also have some limes on the side for garnish like this. And some fresh cilantro. We're gonna leave that kind of like uh, not chopped, just little leaves here and there. The garnishes are good to go. Boom. Okay, it's been 30 minutes since our peppers I've been soaking in the hot water. Should be nice and soft now. Just gonna put these over here. Strain that up. Perfect. 
And now, I want to just get the, the seeds out of there. I'm going to put these right in there as we go. Tear them apart with your hands like this. Stems off, seeds off. What I'm going to do is add some of that water that's been soaking with the peppers in there, just so I can blitz it easy. Okay. Boom, done. Voila, and then this can go right in the soup. This, no waste. Careful with your eyes. Okay, now we have a beautiful red color to the soup, full of spices, delicious. And then we let that simmer for a long time still, but we're building flavors, guys. We are building flavors. Okay, so the soup has been simmering for now an hour and a half. It's getting there, it's beautiful. Now it's time to add our hominy. Hominy? Hominy? How many beans? I don't know. It's called hominy beans. Let's get these in the pot. So we're gonna let that simmer for another hour, maybe an hour and a half, until the pork is super tender, falls off. Okay, so it's been simmering for now three hours, and uh, I think the meat is gonna just fall off the, I mean, there's no bone, but it's gonna be super tender. Look at this here. Oh my God. See how tender this is? Time to plate. So we have a nice bowl like this, and just gonna go with a nice generous scoop of, oh my God, look at this. Look at the color. Wow. Oh my God. This is actually fucking beautiful. Now time for some garnishes on the soup. I'm gonna do some nice little, Thinly sliced cabbage here. I think I'm just gonna go kind of like uh, a little bit on the side here. A little mountain here of cabbage. I'm gonna go with some nice crispy radishes on the side here. Oh wow, this is fucking sick. And some cilantro right here. And then a nice little lime. And then I'm gonna do a bit of salsa verde right on top. Oh my God. Look at this beautiful soup. And finally, the favorite part of all the episodes for me is tasting time. Okay, so do a little bit of lime juice on there. Oh yeah, I actually wanna do a lot of lime juice because I like a nice little freshness in there. Bit of a mixy mix going on here. Get everything together. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? And she goes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Fuck me up. This is crazy. This is probably the best puzzle I ever had. Mmm. Oh wow, just a bra. Mmm. Just think of that pork simmering for three hours in there with some mm, beautiful spices. Mm, this is so fucking good. I'm gonna destroy this bowl by myself for sure. Okay guys, thanks for watching again. This was very fun to make, fucking delicious. I hope you can be inspired for the upcoming favorite holiday of mine, Cinco de Mayo, which is one day before my birthday. So, you know, it's like a double, double party, you know? Just like Mexican fiesta, my birthday together, it's, you know, it's... Anyways, on that note, you know the drill. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all the right stuff, you know? We have a lot of fun doing these videos and we need your help to make this even bigger. So, do your thing and we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry.